Back in the book segment tonight, Bernie Goldberg's new book, A Slobbering Love Affair, about the press coverage of Barack Obama, is off to a great start, going to debut at number two on the New York Times bestseller list. And Bernie has been watching the Tom Daschle situation with interest. He joins us now from Miami. Excellent uh, for the book, number two. You're actually number one. Thank but, you, you know, <clears throat> guys like no, you don't, and me, don't start. we got a little, don't start. Uh, yeah, they play a little shell game. Um, all right, Tom Daschle. Now, the New York Times did editorialize finally that he should get out. And then as soon as that came out, he did. Do you think that was the last straw or was he going to get out anyway? Well, he said it was the last straw. He said that he read the Times piece and he decided he had to go. Do you but believe look, let's that? Look at two, uh, I, I, my guess is he was shoved out. Yep, but me too. But let's look at two sides of, this, of the same coin. First, five newspapers, including the New York Times, said he had to go. Okay. So that's, that's good with, for the press. Uh, Maureen Dowd uh, in the New York Times today had a column, one of her snarky columns, that was not favorable to President Obama because of Tom Daschle. So there's another example. But on the other side of the coin, and, and this is kind of funny, I think, Katie Couric interviews um, uh, President Obama and says, you know, you came here to implement change, and did you find that it's harder to do as if he's some kind of victim of all of this? And then Brian Williams interviews him and says, you lost two nominees today. Are you angry? Hey, bulletin, Brian Williams. I didn't pick Tom Daschle. Barack Obama picked Tom Daschle. He's not a bystander in all of this. Bill, forgive me for mentioning it. This is exactly the kind of slobbering I'm talking about. Seriously, it, it continues. They will find excuses when it's Barack Obama who who screwed up, even to his credit, by the way, Barack Obama said, I screwed up. But they're looking to make him a victim in this, and that's, that's just crazy. The folks are not going to buy that. All right, now, when you have uh, a president take office, as we discussed at the top of the program, and in two weeks you've got three of his personnel people going down, um, you've got the stimulus package maybe blowing up. What then should the press do? Should the press go after Obama? Should they say, hey, this is a tough transition in a brutal time. Let's get some perspective. What should it be? Yeah, you see, the press got him into this position in the first place. And this is also what I write about. They made him into a messiah-like character. They said he was a transformational uh, politician. The fact is, two weeks on the job and we realize that he's just a politician a politician who picked three people who forgot to pay their taxes and let nancy pelosi hijack the stimulus package and turn it into a christmas tree for every liberal democratic goodie she could think of so what they did is they put him they raised the expectations to an unreasonable level and now his popularity ratings are dropping they set him up all the stuff that they did, all the slobbering, all the love affair that they had with him, they set him up for a... It was unrealistic. He cannot walk on water, and if he tries, he's going to get wet, and that's why his popularity is now dropping. Okay. <clears throat> New York Times attacks me, Bay Buchanan, uh, Jim Pinkerton, we're all racist, white supremacists, because we don't want blanket amnesty, open borders, all of this. Um, disturbing we expect these kooks to do that they're going out of business we we know that but how should, should if you were me and you woke up on a sunday and read that what would you how would you have reacted well i probably would have gotten a baseball bat and gone down to uh, the new york times with it and and found the person who wrote the editorial but that's me look here's the thing immigration is a complicated issue and reasonable people can disagree all right but I don't think the people at Mount Olympus, at the New York Times, really want a serious discussion about no, they this. Don't. Because, <clears throat> because then you'd have to ask some uncomfortable questions. I, I'll give you one of them right now. May, should we stop all immigration to the United States from Mexico for 10 years so that the people who are here, the immigrants who are here, can assimilate and become real Americans and not just Mexicans living in the United States to make money? Now, if you ask that, you run the risk of being called a racist, just like you were. You All know? Right. Well, I gotta, I'm going to get your baseball bat. i got a couple, but I have good ones. I don't want to break them, but we'll, we'll get down there together. Because I think that they are just corrupt. 
And we're working on some other stories on it. You'll be uh, interested to see them, Bernie. Buy Bernie's book, A Slobbering Love Affair. Pen